Hi, I'm Jim Burson, and I work with Solution Based Basketball, and I just had a great, great day with Mike Totero, one of my former basketball players who runs the Princeton offense, and we're going to show you some of those highlights here in just a minute. Mike ran just one part of that Princeton offense, and he called that the Chin Series, and if anybody's seen any of that, that to understand that the next part of it is called the Wave, and that's when if you can't make a guard-to-guard -guard pass, you wave him through and it just adds to that sequence unbelievably. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to it. Hope you have a great time. Thank you. It took me two years before we even started with our JVs. I've had people call it sandbox. Here at Muskingum, we're never going to get the biggest, strongest, most talented players. It's about you cutting incredibly, standing judiciously, making your cuts so you can squeeze that thing and read that thing and catch that ball, hop into the spot, take it up to your face, be strong with it. Can you dribble, pass, and shoot? Because if you can't, you know, we have some recruiting limitations, so we have to try to out-execute people. I don't think Bill Self's ever run the Princeton because he has the big, biggest, best players in the world. But for a place like ours, it's, it could be, and Co I think Coach will be the first to say that's why he went to it. Because I can cut here, I can cut off the screen, I can cut across, I can cut up, but you got to cut credibly. And with credible comes a whole lot of things of timing and spacing and squeezing and anticipating because the ball might be right there because if I cut off it here, and this guy, and we get him a little bit. I almost got, ooh, where, I'm, I'm looking for, I'm looking for the ball, come on. Then again, understand how to cut. Got a guy here and a guy here, and he comes out, set that screen here, and the guy's got the ball. How does he cut? Okay. Cut him. And that means hard, that means reading here, that means reading here, that means backing up out of there, that means sprinting to this spot, that's all part of the cut. So I look here and I dribble at him and wave him, and that's the series you want. Yes, sir. And he, how's he cutting? Why might he be open in one of these little lanes here? Defense and not well, why am I waving him? Come here, stand up. You ready to throw the ball to me? Here, look at him. What you gonna do? Oh yeah, because he wants it. I might be open here. I might be open the next one. Boy, I got the ball. So I might get open. So I gotta cut credibly, and then I gotta I gotta look, read, sprint through. Where am I headed? And remember, this is this is a really important part of this. I cut, I'm looking, look, 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 and I might even look here, might be open. Worry about how you cut. If you didn't cut right, guess what we did? Cut the steps. Steps, right? Steps, guys. You evidently, <laughs> listening to me, is not doing it. So, uh, so we're, we're going to adjudicate the proper penalties because you don't like to run steps. And I don't want you to run them because i got better things to do in my life than I have you guys run. Guys, now we're in a different thing. Go run it. Wave it. He has moved in and up. How's he, how's he doing back there standing? Judiciously. And you need to understand it by reading. And reading becomes 
the whole thing of cutting credit. I'm going to read the situation. How's my man go? What's he do? Where's he gone? And, and you've got to do it with a standpoint of awareness. And you can't take, excuse me a minute, I've got to read the situation. <laughs> Let's see, he's going over the top. Okay, beginning. So it's going to take a lot of work on your part. You guys are really going to have to get after it. This guy back here, and now this guy, what are they doing? Picking their nose. Most of the time, that's right. Well, I'm not in this play. Here's Walter. No. What's he doing back there? Standing. Is he standing? Oh, I like that. Sometimes you might as well sit down. He's not doing that. <laughs> yeah. So he's standing. Now, I've got a couple things for people to stand. If they stand right, they can be a really big influence on how the place made. Here I am standing back there in the back. No, I'm not ready for the ball. And that's an awareness. Here I am back there. Now, can I stand and move at the same time? Yeah, watch me. Ooh, 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 I'm moving up, cutting the passing lane a little shorter, getting myself up there. And here's a great one. What's my defense team handle? Oh, <laughs> and if I can influence him just a little bit, just a little bit, by my standing and communicating the fact that I may even run a flare back here. I may come this way. Come on, bring it over to Joe. Bring it over. He can't defense me. Come on. And I'm standing. How am I standing here? Ready for the ball. Both hands. All right. Enjoy this game because it passes your life.